shape and looking gorgeous Take one day at a time, I pray I never have to force it Got bad women for me, tell they man he need to force it I'm standing with the torch gripped in my hand I'm hella calm, the other palm hold my fortune I live ready to die, my mama hate me, sounded morbid Growing up my daddy got caught up in chasing fortune He'd probably be more proud if I was a doctor or a lawyer But I'm paid to be aligned with only living in the moment And I can't hide my target, want me locked behind these bars Or in a spot that I can conquer, but f*** it cause we living and I'm addicted to feeling like I'm invincible Take the bag, then I triple it The flow been on the pinnacle Vivid dreams of a miracle Where I made it out of bond Lately I'm so out of mind It's hard to wanna go outside Cause they be killing off my kind But I gotta hold my head And keep it loyal to the players Don't let them rob you of protection of yourself It's lying for a check I call it bribing for the flex To the label drop your to bank collect on Welcome back heroes, this is Sub Zero back into the video just for all of you guys. I've had a few of you guys asking me to go over exactly how much I paid for my Super Jabra XSTI 2021, um, how much for my monthly payments, what packages came with the car, how it came from factory, and just overall some more information on the car. I just want to say thank you guys so much for all of the love, the appreciation, and just everything that you guys have done on my channel. My last video just the excitement I've had buying that car, I could, you know, I just, I was grateful and happy to see that a lot of you guys felt the same kind of excitement and joy that I had getting that car. And just overall, man, I am so excited for what we have coming, not only for the build, not only for this car, but for the entire channel. And just want to say thank you guys for following. Anyway, guys, let's get into the video. If you guys like this video, hit the like button. If you don't follow the journey, hit the subscribe button. And like I always keep saying, guys, go after your dreams and make them reality. Be your own hero, because the world needs more heroes, and we all have the power to be a hero. And all it takes is one of us to become one, and all of us to do it together as a team. Let's get into the video. Let's get it. Peace. All right, so what I'm gonna go ahead and do is just kind of give you guys a layout as to everything that was on the car, all the packages that came with this Subaru. Um, and just, man, I just love this color. So the first thing is the color. It is the World Rally Blue. Color code is 02C Blue. So if you guys are wanting to get that, it's 02C Blue. So as we make our way over to the inside of the car, the very first thing I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys that I got on the car is going to be this Footwell Illumination Kit. I got it in blue, and man, it's hard to tell in the daytime, but the blue looks so good, man. It looks really dope. It matches the exterior of the blue. You know, I'm going with the red and black interior with blue accents. I think that's gonna be really, really awesome for the car. But the first thing, like I said, is gonna be the Footwell Illumination Kit in blue. Now, the next thing that I did get, and I recommend this highly, is going to be the get the Kicker Tweeter Kit and the kicker speaker upgrade on the car. Man, I'm gonna show a clip of this as far as my review on this vehicle, but getting the speaker system makes a night and day difference. I have my WRX, I did not have a speaker system, and it was probably one of the more non-performance oriented speaker systems that did not sound good. But with these two things, and also getting the kicker powered subwoofer, it really just transforms the car's audio capabilities and it really sounds good, man. I really love listening to music now. It just hits that much harder. Even listening to podcasts, it's so much more clear. The audio sounds great. So I know it's a little bit on the pricey side, closer to about a thousand for everything, but completely worth it, completely worth it. The next thing that I did go ahead and get for the car is going to be this ultra suede steering wheel. Now this was one thing I was up in the air. I had a carbon fiber steering wheel in my last WRX, but I wanted to go ahead with the suede and I am so happy I decided to go ahead and get the suede steering wheel. It feels so soft. The softness of it just feels perfect. Um, it feels good. It also looks really good. Um, there's also a few things in the Subaru that also enhance the fact that you have this suede steering wheel. The side right here kind of has a suede look with the stitching in it. Your seats also has that same kind of styling as far as the seats. So Subaru really did a nice job of really complimenting that suede if you decide to go with that package for the car. Now as we go ahead and you can see, the next thing I did get is going to be the side window deflectors. Now I personally love these because it is really hot in California. I love to be able to roll down the windows um, without people seeing that the windows are rolled down. So with this, you can roll down the window so it doesn't get super hot in your car and it doesn't show that your windows are also down. Um, I also love it obviously for the rain guards that they have, but mostly because it's so hot in California. 
The next thing I did get is the Vortex Generator. As you guys know, I did have the carbon fiber piece one on my WRX, but it was a smaller one. You know, I really wanted to get this large one because I feel like this was going to fit much better with my wide body. I think getting the more bulkier version of the uh, Vortex Generator is gonna look much better when I get the Varus wide body kit on the car. So as we make our way over, I'm gonna go ahead and pop the hood too. Now these are probably, like I said before, this might be the most underrated mods. Um, they're not really mods, but I think they just enhanced your engine bay that much better, that much more. They're there, um, but I recommend getting them, especially if you get the blue Subaru. I went ahead and got this Subaru battery tie down and the Subaru battery oil cap for the car. The blue matches perfectly to the World Ride Blue. It really just looks good. I really wanted to have an authentic Subaru that still remains very OEM style, very uh, Japanese style, but very like together. As you can see, the blue matches the exterior blue perfectly. And I think this, it complements well, especially when I do a lot of the red interior stuff, the red and the blue on the interior, it's gonna look really, really good. Um, I haven't seen too many people, I think, with these, but I think they look awesome. I think it looks perfect, and it really complements the engine bay. But overall, those are the packages that I did get with the Subaru. Um, I'm gonna go over pricing of how much the Subaru cost me, how much it's gonna cost me monthly, but Man, this, this this is the setup that I wanted from factory. Just enough of everything that I needed, not overly over the top. Um, like I was saying before, I do still have my Braum racing red seat, so I didn't need to get the Recaros. The Recaros are honestly basically the exact same seats. Uh, but overall, this is going to be the Subi. We're gonna build this Varus kit, and I am so excited for it, guys. But let's get into how much all of this stuff is gonna cost. All right, you guys, so I do have this price and build sheet that I did get with the car um, in order to order it. Now, I know a few people have also asked, you know, should I buy um, and order a car brand new? Should I buy a used? Should I just get one off the dealership lot? You know, it really depends. I personally just wanted to have a brand new car so I can grow with it, I can build with it. But I wanted to have it exactly the specifications I wanted. And when it comes to these Subarus, you know, I really, this is going to be my long time product. Like I said, this car, I'm not gonna be selling this car. This is a car that I'm gonna be having for a very long time. So I really wanted to make sure that it was a solid platform that I could trust how it was getting at. It has great warranty. I even got the extended uh, bumper to bumper for six years. So anything happens, literally the turbo, the brakes, the clutch, the transmission, the block, anything happens, it will be covered for Subaru for up to six years. And shout out to Irvine Subaru again for hooking it up um, on the car. As far as the price on the car, the MSRP for without the packages was 38,857. Now with the packages, it came out to $40,205. After taxes, the Subaru came out to about over 44,000 out the door. So like I said, as far as the used prices go and the used car and this taxes in California, it wasn't too much. You know, all the packages I said I got, man, they basically all came out to like $1,600 um, when it's all said and done. This is a lot of cool stuff for those packages. But yeah, it came out to about $44,000. Now I did put down $26,000 as a deposit. You know, I really wanted to have cheaper car payments. I didn't want to have too much of a car payment. So my car payments are just a little over $300. Got a really good rate um, as far as the interest. Um, having this brand new Subaru and literally upgrading and being able to upgrade for only over, a little over $300 a month uh, was perfect for me. You know, it fit within my budget. It fit within everything that I wanted. Now I have my Corvette and I have my Subaru. Um, I have both of them. So now I'm able to give you guys the content full time with Corvette content, with Subaru content, with a whole bunch of build content. I'm gonna get back into my review videos I've been doing, my POV videos, me borrowing a bunch of other people's cars, giving you guys their POVs of their vehicle. So if you guys are interested and would love to have me drive your guys' cars, go ahead and put in the comments below or DM me on IG at Subzero underscore or in the comments below like I was saying. If you guys want me to go ahead and review your car, showcase your car on the channel, do a POV with the with the car, um, even just talk to you guys and give like, your perspective and do like a one-on-one. -on -one. You know, I really wanna do this one-on-one -on -one series I've been holding back on because of the pandemic, but since now everything's starting to open up, I really wanna get back into that and show you guys a lot of cool and fun 
uh, entertainment and give back to you guys. You guys support my channel. So I want to go ahead and support you guys by showcasing you guys and your builds and yourself personally on my channel. And if you go ahead, I hope you guys liked the video. Like I always say, guys, if you guys liked it, please hit the like button. If you didn't like it, please in the comments below, let me know what I can do to make my videos better for you guys. I really want to do a good job of just growing as a content creator, as a YouTuber, and just showing that I show my appreciation back for you guys. If you guys want to follow the journey, make sure you hit that subscribe button, smash the notification bell, and join the hero community, man. We're only growing. It's all because of you guys. It's all because we are all choosing to come together as one to unite and have fun. Because everything in life is meant to be fun, guys. Anyway, I hope everyone enjoyed the video. Be blessed. Stay blessed, y'all. Stay safe. And let's have a good one. Until the next time, guys, be safe. Peace.